Oftentimes in our lives when we're going through life and things will be going real well, we'll get hit in the face. Life will knock you right between the eyes. It'll come out of nowhere. It'll be stuff you can't anticipate. You'll find yourself feeling stressed out. You'll find yourself feeling like everything is falling apart around you and within you. And you'll feel like you're being buried alive, buried in pain and tears and the uncertainty of your future. That experience will break so many people. Most people who go through that experience will back away from their dreams and goals. They stop trying, they stop stretching, and they start shrinking into living a life below what was given to them by the universe. But there's a small number of people who know in their heart of hearts that no matter how much fire I have to endure, no matter how much heat I have to put myself through, no matter the number of beatings I have to take, it will all be worth it. Because I know for a fact that if I can endure this process, if I can claw my way through this, if I can keep pushing onward and upward through all this sh I will be left standing at the top of that fucking mountain of success as a warrior stronger than ever before because of that battle. Failure is not falling down. Failure is staying down because it's not in falling that makes us failures. It's in not getting up that makes us failures. And you get to decide if you get up or you don't get up. Every horrible situation can either be the greatest moment for change or the worst moment that ruins everything. And the question is, will you let this failure make you or break you? You get to decide. Your hardship doesn't. And you got to decide that you're going to be so relentless that you'll constantly look for ways to get through it. You'll constantly keep moving. You'll constantly keep getting better so that you are never stuck in one place for the rest of your life. You're going to find a way or make a way and you'll stop at nothing to get it. You've got to declare war against that trial, against that tribulation. And you got to say, no matter how many no's I have to face, no matter how much pain I got to put myself through, no matter how hard it is or how hard it gets, I will not quit. I will turn every single tragedy in my life into a victory. People won't even recognize me from all the improvements I'm about to make to myself and my mentality because of these hard times. I'm gonna come out of this whole thing as a diamond cause of all the pressure I fought my way through. The moments that take your breath away are the ones that count. You need the downs to create the ups. You need the ups to create the downs. You need to feel the opposites to truly understand the full reality of the life you are living. I don't care if you've been beaten to the floor, if your legs are too tired to lift that weight, break through that barrier and create new ones for you. Get back up and live life because every second spent not doing so is time wasted, time that you will never get back. You got to talk to yourself day in and day out, selling yourself on you and on your potentials. When you feel that inner negative conversation saying you can't do it, when life keeps hitting you down to the ground and you got tears in your eyes, all I want you to do every day is just say to yourself, it is possible. If other people have done it, then I can do it too. This pain won't control me. I'm gonna harness it and turn it into something better. And when it feels like that thing is telling you to quit, you look at it directly and say, I'm not going nowhere. I will break you before you break me. You will not defeat me. You will not destroy me. You've been through so much hell. Why would you even consider quitting now? You cannot quit now. You cannot quit now. You're so close to victory. You just gotta hold out a little longer. Go a little further. Try a little bit more. And when you're talking about success, it's not about skill. When you get to a certain level of success, it is about stamina. It's about you declaring to yourself in the world, I will not be broken. You cannot take me. I fought too long. I fought too hard. It's too late for giving up now. You should have broke me a long time ago because I am unbreakable now. What is it that will make it worth it for you? to face the rejections, to brainstorm and not be intimidated and say, I can do this. What is it that will make it worth it for you to raise the bar on yourself and say, I've got some more stuff in me. What is it that will make it worth it for you to make know your vitamin that you become empowered by it? What is it 
that will make it for you when you want to give up and things are working against you. What is it? That will help you get back up again. Most people's dreams can be bought. With enough failure, with enough rejection, they will sell their dreams. They can't still fight. They can get a little bit, but when it gets a little too hot, they go, boom, sold, buy the dream. You can have it. It's not worth it to me. And their will to win is viable. You can buy it. But if you decide my will cannot be bought, I don't care how long it takes, you can't buy this dude out. I'll keep fighting for my family. I'm the one. I'm going to change my family tree forever. That's the decision. Decide now. You're going to keep negotiating the price or can you not be bought? Don't give up on yourself. Don't throw the towel in so quickly. Many people give up on the one yard line. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. There's greatness in you. And you've got to learn how to tune out the critics outside and the critic inside. And since I'm going to do this, I'm going to harness my will. And I'm not going to let anything stop me. I deserve this. Working on yourself, talking to yourself. That's so very important. Overcoming the negative conversation, that inner dialogue is going on all the time. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up. I'm in control here. You've got to have an uplifted expression. Watch your body posture. All of these things affect you psychically. Start working and developing yourself now and prepare yourself for what it is that you want because you expect to get it. I don't want to be that person that's great when everything is going all good, but when something goes wrong, they flee and they want nothing to do with it. I want to be that person that's going to show up rain, sleep, or snow, and they're going to give you everything they got. You got to take my life before you take my job. I'm talking concrete commitment. I'm talking a commitment that says, I am going to stay true to what I said I would do long after the move that I've set it in has left. Because character is not something we inherit. Character is something we got to wake up every single day. We got to fight it. We got to build it. In the midst of adversity, in the midst of challenges, in the midst of failures, we got to get up every single day. We got to fight for peace. We got to fight for happiness. We got to fight for joy. Focus on how your life will be better and what your life will look like when you get what you want. You do this and your brain will think that by helping you get what you want, you're moving away from pain and towards pleasure. Greatness isn't achieved by that one massive thing you do. It's those tiny little consistent baby steps we take every single day that add up to achieving that goal. Amazing things happen when you believe you have something. Your brain actively goes out to make it happen. Believe that you can do it and work hard to get it and it's yours. All I need you to do is speak up and say, I expect to win. Declare that it's over. That yesterday was the last day that you were a loser. Like yesterday was the last day you expected to come up short. When you set out for a goal, expect it to happen. Expect to be successful. Expect it to be positive. If you can expect it, if you can wake up feeling like a winner, if you can wake up talking like a winner, if you can expect that everything you do will come out winning, I guarantee you, you never ever have to come up short again. It might be year two, three, four before you get your big win, but you could decide now, I'm gonna walk, talk, and be a different person. You decide that. You're the lead character in the story of your life. Everything has to do with you intending to win. Too many of you are playing with your business. If you make that shift, I'm going to win. We're gonna play to win now. We're not playing to play. We're not playing to see how we do. We're not playing for fun. Once you start getting some winning, you start changing. You talk different, you walk different. All of a sudden, this isn't the same damn human being. You can change you. You'd be surprised what a little winning would do. You'd be surprised how good you'd be if you just decide to win. Be number one in your office, number one in your region. And when you start stacking them up, your life can change.